Welcome to Country! Thank you very much. We're going to look at the question of the voice and we're going to look into the crystal ball here at the report from Tiger Mountain tonight and give a little prediction for this weekend's voting on the voice. Stick around and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final countdown by Journey. You know, here we are at the Report from Tiger Mountain. It's the voice time. The voice vote is tomorrow. So if you're a, uh, a supporter of the show, get out there and vote now. I think you know that's what we prefer here at the Report from Tiger Mountain. But, you know, I've looked into the crystal ball. And I think we might actually have a win here, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, uh, election-wise, we haven't done too well of late. We've had, like, you know, we've had Biden come in. We had Dan Andrews be re-elected, even though he's gone now. Bye, Dan. And uh, we've had a few election failures, but I think, you know, democracy might just deliver. I think for whatever reason, uh, there's enough people who vote Labor who are voting no. So uh, it looks like my prediction will be approximately 40% will vote yes and 60% will, uh, you know, vote no. So that, that's it. So it's welcome to country, though, you know what I mean? Uh, that's uh, spelled a slightly different way than you normally spell it. You know, obviously, Sam Newman was an interesting uh, character the other day. He had a whole problem with uh, kind of like, uh, you know, welcome to country, which is all a bunch of bullshit, I'm sure you know that. Um, you know, he suggested booing it. Uh, then he suggested singing uh, We Are One, We Are Many. You know, so, um, you know, I, I think that was interesting. I mean, we're all sick of the welcome to country, aren't we? I mean, you see it, obviously, I'm somebody from the film scene. You see it a lot at film events. Every, you know, they get up and they thank you, thank you to welcome. I don't need to be welcome to my own country, mate. You know what I mean? And I think all this woke politics, everybody's sick of it. And this, this uh, referendum is like a kind of, um, how would you describe it? A, you know, it's almost like it's trying white politics and I think it's reached this limit and I think finally people are going to come back to common sense which is why I think no is going to win ladies and gentlemen and obviously we've got Kamal on our side so how can we lose with Kamal you know what I mean Kamal's doing ads for like you know comfy chairs and everything so get your comfy massage chair out there sit back this weekend and watch the no vote win that's my prediction looking in the crystal ball tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain